Is everyone getting the stream? Is it coming in? Is it coming through? Okay. Could you guys share this with your fans and followers? Thank you. Oh, thank you, Lisa. Thank you so much for joining. So Lisa, we've been kind of out of commission this whole week. I, I came down with a sinus infection in Nice and kind of kicked in once we got to Rome. So we're just now getting back on board. So we're inside the Vatican, St. Peter's Basilica. I guess we'll, uh, there are the girls. Chris, do you want to take over? You narrate it? Okay. No, I haven't. Come on over here. Come on over here. We can. It is amazing. It's just over the top, ornate, gorgeous marble. So we can see everything, but I want to want you to actually be able to see it. I don't want it to be blurry or lagging for you. Just the church itself is free to enter. So just to meet every every kind of keep walking down and just a whole nother step. Amazing art. Oh, everything's gilded and mosaics and marble. We never traveled for this long before we had the girls. You know, we did a few cruises and, we, you know, we started doing um, some longer, you know, just trips to one city and staying for a week or so. But we've never done these, like, epic three-month trips until we had the girls, actually. Sistine Chapel is and we got to go into the Sistine Chapel and we got to sing and then one of the guys in the group proposed to his girlfriend and it was so cool. Huh? Still one of my favorite memories when I come back here. But there we go. That's the big dome. Beautiful. Even with my eye here it's a little hard to see it. So much intricate detail, so I don't know how much comes across the camera for you, but it's <coughs> amazing.
And yeah, they did see her coming. I, I, it's, an, it's really cool to be able to do this with our girls. I love that we get to travel like this with them. And they, they enjoy it too. They like seeing the new places. Um, so they started construction in 1506 and it was completed in 1626. So it is almost 400 years old. They built these things to last and just stay on the test of time and now we just, I love my mom and say she, she just moved into a house and we visited them in May and it was just a dirt lot and then they moved in a couple days ago so you know they got her whole house up in a couple months and I realized that's not the same as a gigantic church but still. <laughs> for being here. We're inside the church right now. It's supposed to be quiet. Most people aren't really being silent. It's just, it was like all gold. And it's just amazing. Fun for us to have you guys here with us. Too. Arizona, okay. I am sure it is hotter there than it is here, but it was still pretty warm today here. Yeah. Upper. Michigan, that's so cool. That sounds really good right now, actually. I definitely miss good Mexican food. And Monica, I, I don't know how you do hundreds. Of, uh, <laughs> um, a little bit. It's, it's funny, I'm realizing uh, how little I speak, kind of. I majored in Spanish. I took a summer class of Italian, and I've also, um, you know, done a little bit of the app, Duolingo. Um, I do pretty well reading it. I might understand it somewhat when they speak it to me, but if I try to get the words out to speak to somebody, I just, I totally fail. The food has been wonderful. Um, I actually have to say we were in Florence before this. I, I love the food in Florence. I think we might have some better meals there, but still really good. Last night we went to a place, uh, just right across the street from the Coliseum and had this stuffed cannelloni and it was, you know, it was just that really soft, fresh pasta you could tell was, it was legit, you know, it was the real deal pasta and it was, my daughter loved it, we actually got a second one to take home last night because she was so ecstatic about it. Okay. 
wish I can walk up there. Can... People are praying over here. Huh? Let's check out. I don't know. The photographs are loaded in there. Oh, okay. Okay, I guess I'm not allowed to take the phone over in that one. Good thing we didn't walk in too far. Sure, what's different about it, but you can at least see it. Oh, and David's. on Sundays. That's cool. Hey, Monica, thanks for liking people. This is the sacristy here. I uh, know it is free to enter the church if you want to go up like to the dome on top or go to the museums and see the Sistine Chapel. Uh, you have to get tickets for those. I'm not sure how much. I can really look into it since we weren't planning to do it with the girls. But the church itself is totally free. You just have to wait in a little line and go through the metal detectors. And also, if you come to the um, Wednesday morning general audience with the Pope, that's also free. You just have to. Um, reserve your ticket ahead of time. Let's do one more quick look back up this way. They do, uh, they enforce the dress code pretty strictly here, at least for adults. Um, women aren't allowed to have bare shoulders, no shorts for men or women, and no short skirts for women. You know, our, our daughter has a sundress on. She's five. They didn't say anything to her about her shoulders, but if you were grown up, you do to be dressed modestly um, or you can like if you have a tank top on you can just put a scarf over your shoulders and they're okay with that. And I've seen multiple women here getting the scarves on so I think they are enforcing it pretty strictly and uh, oh you're welcome in Florence. Yeah, I'll just do it over my shoulder real quick if you leave, because that's what you. Um, in Florence, uh, we had, our friend was a guy, and he had a tank top on, he said, because it was laundry day, and that's all he had left to wear, and they wouldn't let him in, because his shoulders were showing, so they, they really do enforce this. I think maybe he was... I think maybe he was describing the dress code to you. I think. I don't think he was saying that you are. <laughs> Josh and There's Claudia. Mama. Hi, There's baby. Mama. All right, we're going to do the baby. Okay, let's get going. You want a picture with her? Okay, we're about to leave. We're kind of lingering at the exit right now. You're generally the last people out of anywhere. Yeah, which is nice because we get more time. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Was Christy good? Did she uh, do a good job giving you guys a tour? Did she get a little heart party? Christy, did you do a good job? I think so. I tried. Wonderful, to. they said. We talk. Thank you, guys. So you can see little sweaters and scarves over the shoulders. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, well we're just leaving, but I'll give you one shot. Back in there. 
Um, do you up still upload YouTube after catch? Well, we our internet has been really bad here, so we will soon. Though. Well, thank you, Dave. Heading out now. I'll let her know. Yeah, she is excellent on camera. I'm more behind the scenes. Apparently, you can also cover up shorts with scarves. I see several like scar. I see several girls who've made skirts out of scarves. I'm just going going back to the dress code thing real quick. I hadn't noticed that before. So just make sure you have, make sure oh, you have a scarf. Is. There's yeah. a skirt. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. There. There's a scarf shirt. Their, their so bring scarves. some scarves. Some scarves with you. Okay, let's go outside. We're using the iPhone 6 on Vodafone 4G. Here's another skirt made of a scarf. Okay. How did the police officers keep, keep the, the Vatican safe? Where are we headed tonight? Uh, if we don't want to stay around here, I'd like to go to the Spanish Steps. Spanish Steps. Or we can going to stay here. Okay. Here, I'll, get, I'll, I'll do a little... I'll slow down for a second so you can capture. And that's where the Pope comes out, right up there. Doesn't seem too far away, right? That's his balcony there. Gotta say, the Pope has a pretty nice house. This was like, they should do, you know, uh, MTV Cribs, um, Vatican style, you know? Okay. I'll do another little pan for you guys. And then uh, we'll go in and get the stroller. Okay. Did you use a guidebook? Um, no, I think we just went on to uh, um, Google. Yeah. Okay. Love you guys. Thank you so much. And uh, we'll see you at the Spanish.